Welcome again, guys, to Pure Property Investment One on One. Today, I'm joined by Anthony Pears. Anthony, thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you. Uh, Anthony is a partner at Integra Financial Planning um, or Integra Financial Services. Uh, today, we want to talk about, uh, if you don't mind, Anthony, sharing with our viewers a little bit more about uh, limited recourse borrowing, something that's becoming quite topical at the mm-hmm. moment. So. Um, your position as a financial planner, I think you'd be well positioned to probably give our, our viewers a bit of insight into what it means and what they need to look out for. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Paul. With uh, limited recourse borrowing, it's actually seems like an actual complex uh, transaction, but it's actually quite simple. What's actually What actually occurs is that a property is actually bought in the self-managed super fund. It's actually bought in what they call a bare trust. So it's an actual trust that's actually attached to the self-managed super fund. Now, the reason it's done that is because there is a, by the very nature, it's a limited recourse. So what that actually means is the financial institution actually has a limited recourse back to the actual asset itself. So if something ever goes wrong, the financial institution cannot get any other assets of the self-managed super fund. So they are limited or recoursed back to the property only. So in that sense, because compared to like personal finance, where a bank can, if something goes wrong, the bank can get A, our property, but other assets. Because they can't do that with a self-managed super fund, the actual loan is a little bit more expensive as well. Mm. And there's some more restrictions that in, attached to it. Yeah, it's, it's good insight. And I think from that front, it's, um, it's, it's quite important, obviously, in the fact that uh, when it comes down to self-managed super fund and investing in retirement plans, um, obviously the intention is to make sure you've got as much asset protection as you can, because if you've got all your eggs in that one basket or you've got certain other aspects or certain other funds or, or cash or anything sitting there that if something goes wrong with your investment A, they can come and grab investment B, you really want to make sure there's some clear delineations and obviously limited recourse borrowing in, in an SMSF really gives it the 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 buyer or borrower the ability to make sure they've got some protection in their assets. And um, I, I think from, from my side of things, when you are looking at buying a property potentially in a self-managed super fund, having a chat with someone like Anthony who's experienced in that space really will give the ability to understand the structure and what the pros and cons will be down the track as well. And always understanding those before you buy um, is going to be absolutely vital. So if you do want to catch up with um, with Anthony or anyone from his team, feel free to contact him at the bottom of the screen. His details will be there. And likewise, from our side, from a, a property perspective, you can contact us or anyone from our team on the number below. Um, we'll no doubt catch up with you soon. Cheers.